I shall grant you any wish. State your wish. I wish for you to have a very nice day. Nice. Okay, let's continue with the story. Let's go talk to mom. And she'll be all like, oh, go on. You need to do your studies. I'm sorry, mom. Now do my studies. Meal time. Nice. Okay, cool. Well then, ready to hit the books again, Gohan? Let me beat the shit out of these books. That's what I like to hear. These books will not survive this brain. your father with your genius when he gets back. Yeah, sure thing. Hurry back, Dad. We miss you. Roughly a year and a half had passed since the fight with the dreadful Frieza. But there was still no sign of Goku returning to Earth. The world had entered a period of peace. That peace, however, was to be short-lived. Daddy, they're the ones who did this, Daddy. Rapidly approaching the planet. I want to go to Earth. Blow him up, Daddy. not to notice there's no way we're gonna miss a massive energy reading like that this can't be good do you really think it's frieza well sure i'm glad vegeta's like dressed to well, fight frieza if you don't quit your foolish babbling and lower your power levels they have scouters after all the namekians already lowered his at least one of you is smart piccolo they're here It's gotta be. I can't believe he's still alive. No, hold on. I think there's someone else with him. It must be Goku. Do not fly there. Got it? We can avoid scouter detection by simply walking up to them. You, you guys have actually fought against someone with this much power? You, you gotta be kidding me. What are we supposed to do once we get close to him? You'd rather stay back here and rot, is that it? Suit yourself. All of us know what we're up against. Big, strong little man. Clear, Earth is completely done for. This... this can't be happening! It's okay, you studied enough. You can talk to him about it. I came to get a peek at that Frieza guy. I never got a chance while we were on Namek. Oh no! What are we going to do? So, this Frieza guy is really that tough, huh? You actually held your own against someone that powerful? That key's unbelievable! Damn that Kakarot! Why didn't he finish that bastard off? He tried. We're going Maybe. up against him again. How in the world? 
hell did Frieza survive? First, we'll move in. On foot, of course. Well, thank you. I didn't want to have to walk all the way over there. Man, the closer we get, the heavier the air seems to get. We're almost at his ship. Are you sure you're ready for this? Yes! So, this is Earth. I've seen worse hunks of rock. It seems this Super Saiyan Goku you keep going on about is set to arrive here in three hours. So you intend to wait for him, Frieza? Why, of course, Father. But I want him to suffer for what he did to me, so I think I'll slaughter every last one of his beloved Earthlings. Yeah, three hours is more than enough time. I couldn't care less about the Earthlings, but we do absolutely need to rid ourselves of that Super Saiyan. By any means necessary. Hmm. And what brings you here, Earthling? The view. Those thighs. I'm here to kill you. The mysterious savior from the future. What's that now? You're here to kill us, you say? Hmm. Eliminate him. Sir! All with his boyfriend's sword. Well now, it seems you've got some skill. You've Don't seen the movie, you know that's his boy. Got. Unlike Goku, I won't take it easy on you. Goku? Oh, I see. So you're an ally of his. Never met the guy. Only know him by name. Oh dear. You do realize that killing my men puts you in grave danger, do you not? Now I have to kill you myself. Such you a shame. Miscalculated. A miscalculation? Oh, I beg to differ. Wiping you and the rest of the filth from this planet would be child's play. That's not what I meant. You're about to find out what it's like to fight a real Super Saiyan. And I'm not talking about Goku. There's another one right here. Bitch. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Oops. How is this possible? Frieza! <laughs> Pack him up, send him out. Impossible. <laughs> Absolutely ruthless. Those two huge powers! They're both gone! What in the world is going on? One way to find out. 
is to keep walking. Oh, come on. He killed Frieza. Wait a sec. You mean that wasn't Goku? I don't believe it. That power. He saved the Earth? That's not Goku. I, I wonder who it could be. He finished Frieza off almost in a Super Saiyan. That's impossible. And it's kitty, 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 He's a witch. He's Burn show him. Up right over there. If you're coming, then follow me. So what do we do? Uh, I'm, I'm gonna follow him. Yeah, me too. I'm going to find out who this creep is. Bulma just has to run. Actually does Maybe it's what? true. If Goku Damn him. He won't stop he's starting to piss me off. He sees you, Daddy. Okay. He had to have been a super if Goku's as strong as this kid. But he's at a completely oh. different level. He doesn't look like a bad dude. But that's still he doesn't look like a bad dude. Shut up. It, it'll be okay, Yamcha. How do you think he knows Goku is going to come here? I mean, I know Goku's gonna come here. dad well i've only heard about him i haven't had the privilege of actually meeting him yet oh uh really so hey how do you know when goku's coming back well i'm i'm afraid i can't tell you that i'm sorry so can i ask you were a super saiyan when you beat frieza earlier weren't you how did you do that? By turning into a Super Saiyan. I can't tell you that either. Sorry. What's your name? Uh, that too. You can't even tell us your name? Well, what about your age? I'm 17. So you can tell us He's your age. He's a baby. But that's all I can tell you. I really am sorry. Hmm. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. You saved the Earth, after all. It'll be another three hours before Goku gets here. So please, just hang tight a little bit longer. The game should have just made me wait three actual hours. I'm here for realism. Be here soon. Here come Goku with the new drip. Huh? Goku! He's an Dad! idiot. How'd you guys know I was gonna be here? This young man here clued us in. Who is he? Y you mean you don't know who this is at all? Nope, never seen him before. That reminds me, who took care of Frieza and the others? That was some crazy energy. We've got him to thank for that as well. He made quick work of them by becoming a Super Saiyan. A Super Saiyan? Goku, I need to speak with you. In private, if you don't mind. Even though Piccolo with will be me? able to hear you. Uh, yeah, sure. Hey, what's the big deal? You gonna keep us in the dark? <laughs> Sorry, guys. Just hang tight for a bit, okay? I need to know something. Are you able to become a Super Saiyan at will? Yeah. I mean, I couldn't at first. But I can control it pretty good now. That's great. Now I have to ask. Would you mind transforming for me now? You got it. 
This good? So, what now? Now, I'll become a Super Saiyan 2. Whoa! And I'd like you to fight me. And I won't go easy. Fine by me. Goku's like, a fight? Oh my god, yes. Just as good as I'd heard. No, better even. Okay, I'll tell you everything. But please, it's important that you make sure not to tell anyone else what I'm about to tell you. Piccolo, gotcha. cover your ears. Don't worry, talk away. Your secrets are safe with me. It might be difficult to believe what I'm about to say, but I've come here from 20 years into the future using a time machine. The future? 20 years from now? My name is Trunks. I'm Vegeta's son. What? Vegeta's son? Actually, now that you mention it, you do kind of look like him. You look like I'm a little kitty cat man. And a half years from now. But that's not why I came here. There's something much more important I need to tell you. So please listen. Huh? Oh, right. Three years from now. On May 12th, at around 10 a.m., two incredibly powerful figures will appear on an island five and a half miles southwest from South City. Who are they? Are they aliens? No. They're androids. Created right here on Earth. They were created yes. by a mad scientist from the former Red Ribbon Army named Dr. Giro. The Red Ribbon Army? That's right. The same one you took down many years ago. Oh yeah, when I was just a little guy. I thought I got rid of those guys a while ago. Like back when I beat up their boss. Unfortunately, Dr. Due to Giro plot devices. and continued his research. So what's he after? World domination or something else crazy? I'm not entirely sure, but it's possible that was his end goal. But his androids were designed to be killing machines. And they eventually turned on their creator. Meaning the androids were free to kill and destroy to their heart's content. It's been just me against the two of them. I struggled to make it out alive. Wait, uh, what happened to everybody else? Dead. They're gone. 20 years from now, I'm the only fighter left. In the fight, three years from now, my father over there, Krillin, Piccolo, everyone is killed. Only Gohan managed to make it out alive. He taught me how to fight four years before I came here in the time machine. As you know, with Piccolo gone, the Dragon Balls could no longer be used, meaning we couldn't bring anyone back once they were killed. The androids' unquenchable lust for bloodshed eventually turned the world into a nightmarish hellscape. 
They're too strong. Nothing can take them down. Hey, wait, hold up a sec. What about me? They didn't kill me too, did they? Even you couldn't join in the fight. Not too long from now, you'll fall prey to a severe heart virus. What? Imagine just dying because your well, cholesterol is really terrible. Sensu beans won't work, oh my god, huh? this is a pickle, and they just Man, so tickle on so many levels. It's a reference die in such to a what you way. said yesterday. I really wanted to fight those guys. You're disappointed you can't fight them? Aren't you scared? Well, yeah, I'm scared. But you said they're crazy strong, right? Of course I want to fight them. Who crazy is strong? You really are a true Saiyan warrior, aren't you? Here, you, you really want to just endanger everybody this, and just, you know, medicine go crazy, huh? Now. All right. It should keep you alive. Whoa, really? Should is the king. Awesome. Thanks. You're going to have 12 well, episodes of you in a bed, ripping your heart, changed. screaming, and then three episodes of you I've got taking a nap. Whatever I can to prevent those atrocities from coming to pass. My mother always spoke very well of you. She knew you'd help us. That's what pushed her to complete the time machine. Wait, your mother? She knows who I am? Yes, she knows you well. Wait, you said she built a time machine. Isn't that right? And the only person I know who can do that is... Oh, big reveal. No way! Your mom isn't... Yes, she's right over there. Whoa! Bulma? Out of all the stuff you just told me, that's got to be the craziest. I thought she'd stick with Yamcha. I wouldn't stick with Yamcha. To think she'd end up with Vegeta of all people. I mean, it just makes no sense. Please, make sure not to tell anyone. I can't have people knowing who I really am. It's really embarrassing. Well, I, uh... Might never be born. Oh, yeah, right. Mum's the word. Well, I'd better get going back to my own time. I need to let my mother know how everything went here. Hey, are we going to see you again? Making a round trip in the time machine requires a lot of energy, so it'll take some time. If I can survive until then, I'll definitely come back to lend my support three years from now. Stay alive. What a great new goal. Now I'm going to start training extra hard for the next three years. He's so excited. You could train your heart, though. I'm just saying. Strongest warrior in the universe has a cholesterol problem. Thank God only Goku heard that and not Piccolo. Well, <laughs> now I just got to figure out what to tell everybody about this stuff. Hey, hey, Goku, we just saw that guy take off. Where did he go? Home. Oh, uh, he went home. Uh, him? Yeah, he, uh, oh, he I, I said guess you could say he went back home. He went home. Went Told back you. home? So just who is this guy? Uh, he, um, he, uh, well, he's. You're fine, honey. Hey, isn't there something more important you should be telling us? Huh? If you can't find the words, then allow me to help you. What? You mean you heard? Piccolo has to be the My mom in this situation. Is leagues above any of yours. Relax, all right? I won't say anything that could possibly endanger him. We're not going in unprepared. If we die, it won't be for lack of skill. Wait, die? What are you saying? On the hunt for the androids. And to ride. Piccolo explained the situation, being careful to avoid revealing anything that could expose Trunks' identity. The others could do little to hide their shock at what he had to say. About the terrifying truth regarding the two androids that would appear three years from now. In order to prevent history from plunging into darkness, everyone made the decision to train for the upcoming fight against the androids androids huh 
Man, I never thought I'd hear anybody mention the Red Ribbon Army again. Was that young man really from the future? I'm just as shocked as all of you, but I actually think we can trust this guy. Kakarot. Spill it. How did you get off planet Namek alive? Right. We've been going crazy wondering what happened to you. Yeah. For a second or two, I thought I was done for. But then, right at the last second, I somehow managed to find a spaceship. That's right. The Ginyu forces. You took one of their ships. But when I jumped in and started to fly away, the spaceship took me to a planet called Yardrat. Yardrat. Those Ginyu goons had attacked Yardrat before, so they must have had that as the destination. So that explains the getup. I'm guessing that's what the Yardrats wear? Yep. They were all super friendly. They gave me these clothes since mine were torn up pretty bad. I find it extremely hard to believe that you came back from Yardrat empty-handed. Those freaks may be weak, but they have strange powers. You picked up some of them, right? <laughs> Bingo! I wanted to learn a lot more, but they really only had time to teach me one technique of theirs. It's called instant transmission. Huh? Instant, instant transmission? transmission? Yep, instant transmission. The weird thing is, is that you have to home in on the energy of a person, not a place. So you can't warp to a place unless you know someone there. <laughs> That's one heck of a downside, huh? That's not much of a downside, if you ask me. Well, I guess there's nothing you can't do now, huh? <laughs> all right. I guess we'll all see each other again three years from now. So when and where should we meet? The androids will arrive May 12th at 10 a.m. on an island five and a half miles southwest of South City. We'll be meeting up on that same island an hour earlier at 9. And don't show up unless you're ready to fight. We're not going to babysit those unable to pull their own weight. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying. Piccolo's not here to babysit you. You may be a Super Saiyan, but mark my words. I promise I'm going to put you in your place soon enough. Okay, little kitty man. Don't forget that the number one saying here will always be me. The number one saying, little kitty man. Bye, kitty man. All right, so I guess we'll see each other in three years. I uh, see everybody in three years. Said. Piccolo, take Gohan. Hey, don't show up unless you really feel you're ready. All right, we better get going. So, Piccolo, what do you say? Want to train with me and Gohan? I've been dying to fight you again. <laughs> sure. Sounds good to me. Yay! <laughs> I get to yeah, train we get to train with Piccolo again. again. All right, it's really Goku's soon. way of just or saying bye, bitch. Three years. Right. We're <laughs> oh yeah, no Goku's first. drip. Right, Dad? No, he can't pull that. He can't pull Mom's that drip been off. Waiting for you. Oh yeah, right. Guess I better get some FaceTime in with Chi Chi, huh? Piccolo. Well, yeah, Is you okay just the you fucking that? shit he eat. Fine. Also, Don't intergalactic viruses much, much? Damn. Hey. Right? Even fucking Gohan doesn't eat like Goku does. Goku just goes, oh, I gotta eat all this. Yes.